So hey everyone, in this video I'll walk you through an ETL pipeline and uh, first thing first, an ETL pipeline is like uh, an assembly line for the data where we move data from one place to another. We do some sort of a transformation in between and uh, we load the data, data warehouses or SQL databases for further analysis and modeling. When it comes to retrieving a data, there can be multiple resources, but uh, for, for the sake of this project, I'm using Alpha Vantage to fetch uh, this financial information like Bitcoin information, USD, and uh, I'll be doing some sort of transformation and loading it into a Postgres. Okay, now that we are in our VS Code and uh, for this ETL task, I'm actually using Apache Airflow, which is very famous for this kind of work. In, in this DAG folder, we have our main files. First one is the Alpha Vantage uh, API. The first function is to get the API. This will retrieve the API from Apache Airflow UI. And I'll, I'll explain to you in a bit. This one is actually a helper function that is able to retrieve the information or data, in this case, the digital currency, Bitcoin. This one is entirely a helper function, all right? And that will be used in this ETL task. Okay, so the first thing first is to extract the Bitcoin data, this function will extract the data, it will get the data in a JSON format and do some sort of transformation on top of that like uh, uh, converting the JSON structure or a dictionary into a data frame and uh, changing the column names, adding some new features into the data frame and uh, further it will push that uh, transformed data into an SQL database, all right? And now this part of the code, uh, like the DAGs, uh, this will uh, this part of the code help to run the ETL pipeline at a predefined time. In this case, the daily it will run the pipeline on daily basis, and uh, the the sequence is as follows. The first one is to create the SQL database. The second is to run the extract Bitcoin data that we created in our Bitcoin ETL task and. The second, it will run this pipeline, and the third, it will run this pipeline, transform and load data pipeline that we already defined in our Bitcoin ETL task. And that's how the pipeline should work, like create Postgres table, the extract data, and the transformed data. All right, now it's time to execute the pipeline. Okay, so before running this uh, ETL pipeline, we must have a Docker desktop installed in our system because the whole ETL pipeline will be running within the Docker itself, all right? These are the command of Docker Compose and just by putting in a command here like astro dev start. Astro dev, astro is basically a CLI that I will explain in the GitHub repository where you can check out how to install this Astro Dev, all right? By just hitting start, this will run the entire pipeline and it will run the pipeline within the Docker itself, all right? And now let's see how it goes. This will take some time, all right? Okay, now Airflow is running inside the Docker. I can check by pressing this link and it will get us to the UI of this Apache Airflow, all right? The first thing uh, first, thing first, I need to uh, do some things. The first one is the variable is to set API key right here inside the variable, the name of the API key and the actual API key of the Alpha Vantage will be placed here. This is very important. And the second, uh, we need to define some connections like Postgres connections. First one is uh, the default Postgres, uh, which is also part of the code. And uh, second, we have the connection type Postgres. Uh, this one is actually a host, which is a name of the con container in which a Postgres is actually running. In this case, we have this container in which Postgres is uh, running uh, right here. This one is actually the name of the container, all right? And then we have a login, password, and the port. These are the credentials that we defined inside this compose function right here. This one is actually a port, all right? And uh, now that these things are set, we can run the pipeline to see if it works or not, all right? By pressing this trigger function right here, 
I can run the pipeline and this will take some time okay it's running the first thing is to create a Postgres table I created a Postgres table and now extract a Bitcoin data okay so the data extracted transform and the load part is also done now that we our now that we can see that our whole pipeline is running and we can see some stuff here like that's how the pipeline runs the create postgres table extract bitcoin data and transform and load the data into postgres sql uh, i can use this uh, dbeaver to connect to the postgres and uh, First thing first is to uh, setting up new connection with uh, Postgre, selecting this part, and because everything is running locally, we need to select localhost uh, database name as Postgres, username and the password is also Postgres. Pressing this test connection, we can see the connection up and running. And uh, that okay, now that the connection is set, I can qu query the database to see the data, like select uh, everything from the name of the table that we defined which is the Bitcoin matrix uh, the Bitcoin matrix okay now that we have all the data stored in SQL database plus uh, the extra features that we extracted like SMA EMA RSI or MACD uh, I want to see the latest price latest I want to see the recent price all right so I can do like the, the date and uh, the close where the date in select max date from Bitcoin matrix. Okay, if I run this, I should be able to see uh, the date and the price and the new price updated at uh, the 2025, 20, 06, and 21 which is and this one is actually our close price now that we can see that data is stored in Postgres so we can uh, do some sort of analysis on top of that everything is running locally uh, we can push this uh, these values these figures to the cloud just by changing the endpoint uh, right here in this connection ID we can change the endpoint provided by the cloud platform and we can push this whole data to the cloud. Okay, so this was a clear demonstration of how ETL pipelines work. The analysts to use these kind of pipelines to move data from one place to the other and make the data ready for the analysis and, and the data scientists also do that to make the data ready for the machine learning and deep learning and some other stuff. Thank you very much.